Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the ideal and practical diodes. Okay. Now let's see what is ideal diode and what is practical diode. Now let's suppose first what is ideal diode. A diode is said to be an ideal diode when it is in forward bias. It acts like a perfect conductor with zero voltage across it. And similarly, when the diode is in reverse bias, reverse bias, it acts as a perfect insulator with zero current through it. Okay, now if you see the VI characteristics of the ideal diode, so these are the characteristics we will get. So on the x-axis, we will take the forward voltage. Okay, and the x-axis, other side, it is the reverse voltage VR. Okay, and it is a forward current and it is a reverse current. Okay, if we see the characteristics here in the ideal diode, the diode starts conducting from this zero position only. So from this, we can say that the cut-in voltage of the ideal diode is zero. Okay, these are the uh, reverse bias characteristics here. So in the, the reverse bias characteristics, yet there is no reverse current here, up, almost it is zero. Okay, but <coughs> it starts conducting from zero position only. That's why in the ideal diode, the cutting voltage is equal to zero. Okay, now if you see the uh, diode symbols in the ideal diode, an ideal diode acts like a switch when the diode is in forward bias. And it's so it acts like a closed switch. Okay, this is the diode. When the diode is in forward bias, forward bias in the pass two terminal. Okay, it is a pass two terminal of the battery is connected to P type and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to N type. Then the diode is in forward bias. In the forward bias condition, the diode is acts like a closed switch here. Okay, now when the diode is in reverse bias. Suppose when the diode is in reverse bias, it acts like an open switch. Here, yeah. we will, uh, suppose if we connect one battery here, pass two terminal and the negative terminal. Okay, pass two terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of the battery, it is P type and the N type. Okay, now it is acts like a closed switch here. Okay, we will get the equivalent circuit like this. Now, when the diode is in reverse bias, it acts like an open switch. Okay, now, if we take the reverse correction, uh, reverse connection here, now I am connecting negative terminal of the battery is connected to P type and the positive terminal of the battery is connected to N type. Then the diode is in reverse bias condition. In this reverse bias condition, the diode <coughs> acts like an open switch here. Okay, this is the negative terminal and it is a positive terminal. Negative and positive. Okay, so in the ideal diode, the total diode is, is replaced by the closed switch when it is forward bias. And if it is reverse bias, the diode is replaced with the open switch when it is reverse bias. Okay, these are the ideal, this is about the ideal diode. Now, if you see the practical diode, a diode is said to be in a practical diode when it is forward biased. It is not acts as a perfect conductor. Similarly, when the diode is in reverse bias condition, it is not acts as a perfect insulator. Okay. Now, if you see the uh, diode symbols here, here, yeah, pass to terminal of the battery and it is the negative terminal of the battery. Okay. When the pass to terminal of the battery is connected to P type, and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to N type, then the diode is said to be in the forward bias. In the forward bias, in the forward bias condition, okay, in the forward bias condition, the, do the total diode can be replaced with one cut-in voltage that is connected in series with the forward resistance, RF. Okay, the total diode can be replaced with cut-in voltage that is connected in series with the forward resistance in the practical diode when it is in forward bias. Now, when the diode is in reverse bias, 
okay when the diode is in reverse bias uh, now we will interchange the terminals here it is a negative terminal of the battery and it is a positive terminal of the battery it is a negative and it is a positive okay it is a p type and the n type okay then here it is a n it is a positive negative terminal and the positive terminal in the reverse bias condition when the diode is in practical diode also we will replace the total diode with the open switch okay this is about the practical diode simply in the practical diode the in the forward bias the diode will be replaced with this cut in voltage and that is connected in series with the resistance when it is reverse bias the diode will be replaced with the open switch okay this is about the practical diode if you see the characteristics in the practical diode so it is not starting from the zero okay it is taking some voltage here at 0 0.7 volts after 0 0.7 volts it starts conducting okay very very small current flows in the reverse bias here okay this is about the practical uh, pra characteristics of the pn junction diode in the ideal characteristics the diode starts conducting from the zero position only okay this is the difference of the uh, ideal and the practical diodes now if you see the differences what are the uh, exactly ideal diode and practical diode is having we will see ideal diode acts as a perfect conductor in the forward bias and the perfect in insulator in the reverse bias okay now in the practical diode the practical diode cannot acts as a perfect insulator uh, perfect conductor in the forward bias and the insulator in the reverse bias okay in the ideal diode it acts as a conductor in the forward bias but in the practical diode it does not act as a perfect conductor in the reverse bias it acts as an insulator but it cannot act as an insulator in the reverse bias if you see the characteristics these are the characteristics we are getting in the ideal diode so it is a uh, sorry it is a forward voltage and it is a reverse voltage and it is a forward current and it is a reverse current okay it starts conducting from zero okay these are the second difference of the ideal and the practical diodes okay in the ideal diode we will get the characteristics like this if you see the practical diode forward bias characteristics in the forward bias uh, we will get the characteristics like this it is a forward current and it is a forward voltage and this is called as a cut in voltage okay in the practical diode it starts conduct from the zero point zone only but in the ideal diode it starts conducting from zero volts if you see the reverse bias characteristics very small narrow current will flow in the reverse direction okay it is a ir reverse current the reverse voltage okay up to this is called as a vbr reverse breakdown voltage after reaching this voltage if you increase the voltage again further the diode negative current increases drastically so this is the second difference of the ideal and practical diodes now if you see the third difference here so this is the third one if you see the third difference ideal diode draws no current when it is in reverse bias condition see here almost it is equal to zero the reverse current is zero when it is in the ideal diode if it is ideal diode there is no current flows here current is zero reverse current is zero okay ideal diode draws no current when it is reverse bias but in case of practical diode practical current draws very low current when it is reverse bias here a very small very low current draws here but here approximately it is totally it is zero but here here there is a small current flows okay now when it is ideal diode an ideal diode is replaced with a closed switch if it is a practical diode okay so if it is a practical diode this practical diode is replaced with the cut in voltage that is connected in series with the forward resistance okay when the diode is in forward bias condition now when the diode is in reverse bias condition okay this is a fourth difference okay and it, it is a fifth one okay this is for the forward bias condition okay it is for the reverse bias condition in the reverse bias condition the diode will be replaced with the open switch this is for the forward bias condition okay now when the diode is in reverse bias the diode will be replaced with the open switch 
okay now if we if we see the sixth characteristics here it has zero cut-in voltage so as we discussed already the cut-in voltage of the uh, ideal diode is zero it starts connecting from zero only it has very low cut-in voltage that is 0 0.7 volts for the silicon diode and the 0 0.3 volts for the germanium diode if you see the seventh one it offers infinite resistance when it is in the reverse bias okay it offers reverse <coughs> uh, infinite resistance as the current is zero the it offers the infinite resistance when it is in the reverse bias here current is zero if the current is zero means the resistance almost uh, is equal to infinity okay in the practical diode it offers very high resistance when it is in the reverse bias here high resistance offered because the current is very low here it is infinite resistance but here, here we are very high resistance but not the infinity <coughs> if we take the eighth characteristics it cannot be manufactured this ideal diode we cannot manufacture but in, in case of the practical diode we can manufacture the practical diode these are the difference of the ideal diode as well as the practical diodes of the pn junction diode okay so this is about the pn junction diode ideal and the practical